los dueños del Tantá. Trio Fight Miami. The Champions League. So, in, uh, for gi purposes, uh, we're going to be controlling the gi. If we were in no gi, I would control the hands. Yeah, where I can kind of turn his, uh, his wrist in. But for gi purposes, we're going to go with this here. All right? I always want to show the same look, whether I'm doing an arm bar or a triangle. I'm always going to post his hand up so that I can always trap uh, this one hand. Uh, a lot of guys do this one triangle. Um, but that triangle is more like for an MMA triangle because the guy's gonna be swinging. So if I'm here like this and the guy swings, I right, boom, I'll be able to get the triangle. So that's the difference between an MMA triangle and a uh, Jiu Jitsu fighting triangle. So again, I control the sleeves, I'm gonna post the leg on the hip, push the foot in between my crotch, I'm gonna bring my foot in. Nice and tight, I don't want to whip my leg. I want to bring it in nice and tight. I'm going to lunge up, cross grip, drop the hammer, and lock. Anytime I lock, I don't have to make a perfect lock. I just need to make sure that I lock my legs and I put them in the triangle position. Now from here, I'm going to start working and make my, my adjustments. I'll bridge up, put the hand in my pocket, grab my shin, get the adjustment of the angle, Pinch nice and tight, hug the head. What do people do that they put themselves in a position for a triangle? Uh, where I see most people getting caught in a triangle is anytime they're doing a pass like this. They're like somewhere around here, they get a pass, and now he breaks my grip. Boom, and he falls in here. There's not so much that it happens from in here. A lot of guys do do it here, but I see it more happening from a pass. Whether they're like anywhere, open up a minute. So like there may be like, they did a, a pass, and they placed their hands in the wrong spot. So they, they get somewhere here, they try to come around, and they couldn't come around and under. That's it right here. Boom, they got in trouble. Why? Because of their hand positioning was uh, not, not, not correct. So um, anytime somebody's in a pass, if you're going to be passing from like a guard position, you always got to hide your hands and grab something. Make sure your hands. He can't uh, pull on my hands, right? So for that reason, if we're doing gi, I grab the pants. Yeah, knee on the butt, boom, and I start trying to pass, and look what my hands are. So even if he tries to start pulling on my hands and start trying to push off my shoulders and try to put like a spider, I'm nice and tight, so there's no way he can uh, get my hands going in the and wrong way. And once he crosses the legs over the neck, is there a side that you prefer to So there's several situations um, on a triangle. First thing I always tell somebody, as soon as the guy locks in, because remember I said the guy's normally gonna lock in first. He's not gonna have it perfect, so he's gonna have to make adjustments to finish. So first thing, boom, posture up. Posture up. And control this leg right now. So as long as I'm controlling this leg, I know he can't bring it back this way. So even if he tries to get the angle on me and try to adjust, you see now it's very hard for him because I'm, and I'm opening up. Yes? So that's, that's the first thing I want to do. I want to control this leg, which is, I call it a hammer. Yeah? So now once I'm there, I come in tight. Boom, now he can't throw my arm across, even if he's trying to throw his arm across. Yeah? And I have all my weight on this leg. So if he wants to adjust, adjust those. His son, his son was the victim. Your name, sir? Joseph. Joseph, thank you very much for being the victim. Thank you very much, Sensei. This is a great father and son here. Show the technique of the day, the triangle choke. How to do a proper triangle choke. The positioning is really important. How to not get in the position and the transition to get out. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>